Today we'll look at how to create a zero length C bush that connects a mesh point to ground. For this example we'll use a simple sheet body and a point that is projected onto the surface. We'll begin by creating our simulation files, making sure to include those points. We'll also create a linear static solution that we'll use for testing our model. Now we'll create a coarse shell mesh, which will assign some arbitrary properties. for both material and thickness. And also we'll just double check to make sure that our mesh associated data is pointing to our physical property table since we did not start from a mid-surface. Next we'll create our mesh point. We'll do that selecting the projected point option, selecting the surface and the point. And here to more easily select the point, let's turn off point on surface and turn on points. All right, now we have a mesh update pending, and you can see now our mesh conforms to our mesh point. Now we need to create a 0D mesh in order to create a duplicate node at that mesh point in order to have another end for our C bush that we'll be putting in in just a moment. So you can see with that concentrated mass we've got two nodes. One is on the shell mesh and one is on the mass. So I'll assign some arbitrary properties to it. Because this is going to be the other end of our C bush, this will be the end that's fixed to ground. Next we'll create some selection recipes to allow us to select the node that is associated with the shells and the node that's associated with the 0D concentrated mass. And we'll do that by creating a point selection recipe, a distance from that point, going for first the lowest node label, which will be our shells, and then we'll go for the highest node label, which will be our concentrated mass. All right, so we'll use those two selection recipes to create our bushing universal connection. We'll use the single point for target one and target two, selecting our low node, then high node selection recipes. We'll specify an axis type and physical properties for our bushing. And here you can see it's not realized yet. We'll go to automatic elements to select the C bush type with optional RBE2. So here you can see our bushing element has been realized. We, if we'd like, we can double check the solver syntax to see that nodes 1 and 21 are connected with that C bush. All right, and then we'll go ahead and check to see that our model will actually run by fixing the end that is on the concentrated mass and putting a gravity load on it. All right, so that ran successfully. Here we can check the results to confirm. And that looks good. Now to test the robustness of our model, what we'll do is first refine the mesh. So here you can see we just need to hit the update button in order to update our bushing connection. We can see that all those meshes have an element count of one for our zero D mesh and one for our bushing element. So those have both updated successfully.
Let's do a few more changes as well to test the robustness. First, we'll move the point that is being projected down onto our surface. And here we can go back to our FEM. You can see that our bushing element has moved. We'll update our mesh to conform to the new mesh point. And you can see that our 0D and 1D meshes have all survived. As a last check, we can also unsuppress a hole that I put into the sheet body as well to force another mesh update. And here you can see that survives just fine as well. As a final check, we'll go ahead and run the model to ensure that it still runs. And here you can see our updated results.